Okay, so today we're solving the Python method count high. Now, this problem basically gives you a string input, and once you run your method, you want to return the number of times the word high appears inside the string. So here in this first example, we can see high is high appears once, so we return one. Here, there's two highs, so we return two. And then here, the word high high has two highs, so we return two. So you want to start this by first creating the actual Python method. So we'll call it count high. And as you can see in the example problems, count high takes in a string input. So we also need to make our string all right method take in a string input. Now, as with mo as with any parameter of any method, you can call the you can call the parameter anything you want. So this doesn't have to be string. It could be s. It could be um, a. It can be anything you want. But we'll call it str here. Now, once you do that, we need to create a variable, and we'll call it answer. Now, this variable, uh, this variable's purpose is only to store the number of times high, high appears inside the string. So we'll call it answer here because it is literally our answer. Now, once you do that, we need to actually run through the string to check for the number of highs. So we need to create a for loop. Now you'll see the way I designed this for loop is a little is a little unique. I said for i in range length of str minus one. Now the reason we have to do this is because whenever you use the range method in Python, it essentially returns it essentially starts from zero and returns to one less than that number. So if I if I said this for i in range of length of str, then it would it would run from the beginning of the string all the way until the end. Now there's a problem with doing this, however, because high is a two, is a word of length two. Now if we're if we're checking for the word high inside the string, we cannot we cannot end the loop on the last character of the string because we'll be going out of bounds if we check the last character and then one character past the last. So the way we combat this is by saying for i in range of length str minus one, and this way. Our, the last character we'll be checking inside the loop is actually, for example, h, not o. And this way, we have enough space to check for both characters high in high. Now, once we do that, we need to check if what we're actually looking through is the word high. So we say if str at i, i plus 2 equals high. And if it is, then we add 1 to answer. Now, you'll see what I did here. This is basically Python's annotation for a substring. So if, if str at for starting from i and going to i, i plus 1, because Python doesn't actually take in this last input, it stops one before. So let's start here, for example. In this first example, abc hi ho, str at i, i plus 2, let's say i is 0, then it would be 0 and i plus 2, so 2. So this, is, this would be 0, colon, 2, and because it stops right before this argument, it, it actually checks 0, 1. So that's basically how this for loop works. Now once you finish the for loop, you just need to return answer. And make sure you indent out of the for loop. If you do this, your method should work. Thank you.